Hi, I'm Catherine, and like all of my colleagues in MaxiZoo, I am fully trained in pet care and nutrition. We have made these videos to help you teach your pet, and most importantly, to make them happy. Today, I will be showing you how to teach your dog to sit. Sit is the basis for all good doggy manners, including getting them to stay quiet while you are putting on a lead collar or harness, or indeed taking it off, or when they're meeting new people or dogs for the first time. Sid is also the basis for lots of cues and tricks which you may wish to treat your, teach your dog during their lifetime. If you would like to work on lead during today's session, you will need a few things. Freya, wait. You will need a flat buckle collar like this. You will need a standard leash like this. You'll need some tasty treats. These are Premiera chicken and fish sandwiches, and they are Freya's favorite. For convenience, you may also choose to use a treat bag, like this one. Your dog is never too old to learn sit. However, older dogs may take a little more patience and perseverance. First off, make sure you're in a distraction-free area, somewhere where both you and your dog are comfortable. Freya, up. Ask your dog to move in front of you and have them standing facing you. Freya has learned sit before, so I'm going to take this quick opportunity to explain a little bit about luring. Luring is when you use a food reward to lure your dog into a behavior or to do a trick. Luring can be reduced to give you a visual signal. For instance, in sit, something that starts like this can soon become just this. For the reason of keeping my commands clear and very distinct from each other, I raise my index finger when I'm teaching sit. It is optional, but it is a good idea. Freya, come here, darling. Good girl. Freya seems to be a little keen to sit, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how would you would achieve this, and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Take the treat between your fingers and move it towards your dog. Bring it to their nose and back over their head. As their head raises, their bottom will automatically go down, causing them to recline into a sit. As soon as their bum touches the floor, reward with a treat and, if you like, some praise. Good girl. Freya has known sit since she was a puppy and it's one of her favorite things to do. If you hold the treat too high, you may run a problem of your dog getting confused. And if you go too low, they may do nothing at all or even go into a down. Make sure that you practice sit in lots of locations, not just at home. You want your dog to know that sit means sit wherever you are and whatever situation you're in. Gradually add some distractions such as other dogs and other people. When your dog is following your lure, reliably, at least nine out of 10 times, you can add a verbal cue, such as the word sit. To do this, just make sure that you say sit just before you begin luring. Freya, up, come up. Good girl. Sit, like so. Good girl. Your dog will quickly learn that the word sit will be followed by the lure, and they will know that sit means you want them to sit. When your dog is at this stage, you can choose to remove the lure altogether or you can choose to use a more subtle version as a visual cue. When your dog is very competent with sit and performing it reliably in all situations, you can start phasing out your food reward slowly. First, maybe only treat one in three times, then perhaps one in ten times, until you no longer need your food at all. It's not always practical to carry it with you. It is a good idea to every so often give a food reward, just to let your dog know that you do appreciate their cooperation and you are pleased with their behavior. I'm Catherine and this is Freya, and we thank you for watching us today. Remember, if you need any further advice on pet care or nutrition, visit us at your local MaxiZoo store.